as so dramatic and like so extra and I just feel like it's all the time he does things like this and it's so unnecessary and like so pointless like what is the difference if somebody calls you or sends you a message it's the same disappointment sir what is the issue I love money but I'm not money hungry to the point where I'm gonna run myself down just to chase a check welcome back to my channel so this is the season where you guys will see me in my robe a lot I have a total of three or four robes two are cozy and for like the winter time and the other two are thinner and for the summer months this gray one and another gray one are the two that you guys are gonna see me in constantly throughout the winter maybe I'll get another one and hopefully it's a different color and it's not great maybe I'll do that hey Siri Remind me in 20 minutes to look on Shein for a cozy winter robe. Okay. So, I'm about to hop in the shower, and then by the time I come back out, the reminder is going to go off so I can look for that robe. So, you guys can have variety. Not that I care as much, but it would be nice to have another one that's a different color, because both of these ones that I wear constantly are gray. And I definitely need to pop by the Dollar Tree and get some more of these cozy socks. Hey Siri, remind me tomorrow at 8.35 p.m. to stop by the Dollar Tree and buy some more cozy socks. Let me tell you something guys, I cannot function without the reminders on my phone. Anything that I want to remember to do, I literally just have her set a reminder or like if I have the phone in my hand, I'll squeeze aside to just set a reminder right then and there when I remember. Because if not, then I'm definitely going to forget. So when I every day I have so many reminders going off, reminding me to do little things from like probably check on something that I'm cooking to buying something at the Dollar Tree when I'm coming home from work or like stopping by the grocery store. And this kind of keeps me in check so I don't forget anything that I have to do and so this is gonna remind me 15 minutes to go find a robe and I'll search around on there and see if there's anything else that I want or that I'm planning on getting thinking about getting a shoe stand for this corner listen I'm really trying to get this room together and just be done with it and that's it and then I don't have to talk about it anymore but I want it to look a specific way so it's taking me a little bit longer to get the pieces that I love and I'm trying to get pieces that I'm in love with and I'm always gonna love to see in here because I get tired of seeing things sometimes. So I might have something that I absolutely love and then out of nowhere I just get tired of seeing it and feel the need to change it. As I'm looking over there, I'm seeing the coupon for Bath & Body Works that I have and I need to find some really nice candles because it's that season where you know you want to light your candle and have a glass of wine. I'm always in that mood. And you know it's just a good evening. So I need to get some more candles plus I have the um the discounts so definitely gonna need to use that soon but i was just about to hop in the shower and i said let me come in and say hi i have been this entire time you guys see my macbook over there in my ipad i started out watching a few youtube videos and then i transitioned from watching a few youtube videos via reminder to like scheduling and uploading some videos for the duration of this month and like for the upcoming months or like the upcoming weeks to not be dramatic so i spent about let me see wow it's 8 55 maybe i spent about an hour to an hour and a half scheduling and uploading those videos along with the fact that i was talking to my mom on the phone so we were chopping it up for a little minute and of course that made scheduling and uploading the videos not so boring and it just seems like it didn't last as long okay um but yeah that's really all I have going on right now. Since I'm done that, I'm really going to just get comfortable and shower, put this robe back on, and my cozy socks, and literally curl up in bed and watch some videos right there because, you know, tomorrow I don't have to be at work until like 9.30. So I have some time because right now it's 8.56 p.m. And 
generally I probably don't go to my bed until like 12 o'clock on the night so I don't have to go in early so I might do that and I honestly have been feeling like tomorrow I want to just go in at 12 o'clock instead of going in at 9 30 but man's just texted in the group too and said oh if you guys are gonna be late or you're not gonna come to work for some reason call me instead of texting me I don't like to get texts saying that you're gonna be late or like you're not gonna come to work or whatever the case is he is so dramatic and like so extra and I just feel like it's all the time he does things like this and it's so unnecessary and like so pointless. Like, what is the difference if somebody calls you or sends you a message? It's the same disappointment, sir. What is the issue? I'm so gonna be like, you're doing too much. Always, always doing too much. So annoying. Anyways, I need to figure out if I still wanna do that because if I am, then I'm probably gonna have to call out from tonight. But honestly, that is gonna fuck with my money. And at this point, and I'm gonna need some things in the near future. I'm not trying to mess up my money, I'm not gonna lie. So, some of the days, even if I feel like, oh, I should just call out, not because I'm like so overwhelmed or I feel like I cannot do it, I just be tired and I'm just like, damn. I could really sleep for another hour or two. This evening, I slept for an hour and a half and honestly, I felt so good when I woke up to the point where I just wanted to roll back over and go right back to sleep there and then or then and there, however you say it. But I think somebody called me, who called me? Some girl from work who said she was gonna call me back when she went home, but obviously, she has other engagements because this girl has not called me back since yet she woke me up out of my sleep but you see normally that's how it goes with me once somebody wakes me up it's over for the sleep anyways i've been standing here and talking for six minutes i'm about to guys i'm out the block and i literally bought one sandwich at subway oh my god what is that i'm struggling with my package and everything which one of this is mine why is that so big I bought one sandwich at Subway one evening and color me obsessed because I have it once per week. That's not good. And then now I have all these packages. I can't even tell y'all. I've been trying to get my damn watch to stick to the charger and start charging for about a minute. Um, at the moment, obsessed with Subway. No shame in my game. They're macadamia nut cookies. Oh, to die for. Bought a few things today. Three of this, I think I'm gonna end up sending probably two for my daughter so they can use it in her hair or, or so. I don't know how many I'm gonna send just yet. And then I have, um, what else did I buy? I bought this little bottle so I could pour my tea tree oil in there because when I buy, I love the tea tree oil, but when I buy it, this little part here keeps breaking. I have one that's broken now. So, bought the bottle, see? It's broken and I still have like like half of the bottle left. So I'm gonna pour that in there. And I have another box because I wouldn't be me if I didn't. So my daughter specifically asked for one thing, which I already bought, but I then decided, oh my gosh. I then decided to get her this. This is how the back of it looks. My husband is traveling for the holidays and so she just asked for one thing, which was this right here. And I wanted to get her something else because I feel like it goes hand in hand. And so she now has three babies, a stroller, a crib with a changing table, just a whole shebang. And she already has so many dolls. You guys, the amount of dolls that she has is unhealthy, but that's the only thing she really ever asks for. And that's my baby. She, her requests are always small. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is like a little bouncer. Well, she has three babies, so love this for her. And one thing with her is she's 10, but anything that I get her, she normally takes care of it. So it makes me want to get her more stuff. This right here that she asked for, she specifically asked that I don't open it. She wants to open it herself. But this, however, I really have to open this because the box is just... Packaging just takes up so much, like everything else is smaller. And I want them to be able to, to, be able to hold comfortably in the suitcase. So I'm gonna open this and put them inside of a Ziploc bag. And then I bought two shoes for her. This one that will not fit her yet, but her feet just grow so much. And then this one that also will not fit her yet, but the girl is growing, okay? So I like to get things bigger so she has time to like grow into them. I didn't get her a lot of stuff this time because the last time that my mom was here, which was what, two months ago, I sent a lot of clothes for her. So she does not need any clothes right now, but I saw these and they were on a good sale um, maybe a month ago when I went to Primark with my friend and I bought them for her. And obviously this thing here that she asked for. So that's what she's gonna be getting. And because my husband is traveling for the holidays, I wanted to make sure that I 
get her something okay okay yes sir so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to change i was really hoping that i'd come home tonight and i feel like washing my hair but i don't so i'm really not gonna push it wondering if i want to sleep in this wig so when i wake up tomorrow it's ready to go and i'm ready to go maybe i will let's just put it up guys today was so cold and i'm just like bro what did we do to you like why and when i say bro um I'm talking to the universe, you know? No disrespect or anything. But I'm going to transfer these oils into this bottle, change my clothes, eat half of my Subway sandwich, leave the other half for my lunch tomorrow, and shower, put my cozy socks on, put my robe on, and really just wrap up into this bed because honestly, I'm so tired and my feet hurt. I'm highly considering calling out from this job tomorrow, calling out from the job that I'm going tomorrow, or calling out from this one on Wednesday. I'm really leaning more towards calling out from this one on Wednesday because why not? Because from the nursing home, I'm planning to call out on the 14th. So I don't want to do any calling out right now. Even though the last time that I called out was a very long time ago and I'm drunk, very drunk. You know, so I don't want to um, call out because I'll be calling out in like a week and a half or two. So, um, I think I'll, they could take an owl down here. It's okay, they'll survive or call somebody else. But I'm tired and I feel like it's very important that you listen to your body. And me scheduling myself for three days this week was a mistake. The Miana caught me off guard, okay? And I said, oh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I was planning to just tell him two days and take two days off this week, but that did not work out that way. So I feel like tomorrow evening when I come home, I'm gonna tell him that I'm not feeling well or something, just so he knows. Not gonna be coming on Wednesday. Do not expect me. I was thinking about, oh, maybe I should go half day, like go 12 o'clock. I, I don't know, I just feel like, I feel very tired and I have to listen to my body. And don't get me wrong, I love money, but I'm not money hungry to the point where I'm gonna run myself down just to chase a check. You have to know when your body has just had enough and needs some sleep or just some time to relax and to like recoup and you have to give it that. And that is what I'm doing right now. I'm tired and I need just maybe two days to sleep, honestly. And I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna be ready to go again for the next week because I'm gonna do the same thing all over again the next week. Anyways, I want to wrap up this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next launch. Happy holidays, you guys.